Hello and welcome back to the channel. For this video, I got this right here that I picked up at Goodwill. It had some type of halogen bulb or something of that nature under this glass here. But you could look at the filament and obviously tell it was blown. It had, had a little ceramic base right here where this is plugged right into. But that's not very useful to me. What I was thinking about doing was converting it to LED. So far, besides disassembling it, the only thing I've done is there was a plastic rod going through here that the cap had come off. It was falling apart. So it's a little flimsy now, but it's not going anywhere with this bolt and nut, even though the bolt's a little too long right now. And what I've done is I went to a Dollar Tree, picked up one of these dollar LED bulbs. I disassembled it, and it's as simple as this right here. There's your, uh, let's see, that was live, neutral, and DC output. And, you know, the LEDs. Which, I've never seen one quite so simple. I was expecting it to be like, I think this one came from Walmart here. But it was pretty much like this right here. It had its own little circuit board. And this is like in a thermal paste. This had none of that. This is literally all that was inside of it. And the box itself has no brand name on it at all. I've looked everywhere on here. No brand name. So that's kind of odd. So that was one dollar. And this magnifying glass was also one dollar. And I'm thinking possibly you know making this a magnifying thing for soldering somehow incorporate this light and still be able to see through it so I'm going to have to do some cutting on this but it's kind of just the planning stage right now hopefully I can make something more useful out of this well I took the Dremel and cut out the back end here so I, I also cut this metal it's real rough right now, but just to kind of give it stability in the plastic. I don't know if I'll leave that or not. But I left just enough lip where it can still hold this glass plate. It has these little metal tabs that kind of hold it in place. And now the back side's cut out. So I guess I'm going to take the lens off of the plastic here. Just have it on the back and incorporate this in the inside. Unfortunately it's going to cut out some of the viewing area but it's not much I can do about that. So yeah that's where I'm at now. I've temporarily used hot glue to hold this on because I was thinking that the hot glue wouldn't get between the crack really good and it didn't. So my plan is now it's kind of a temporary hold. I keep it nice and level and I can take some um, probably epoxy and go on the inside really good because hot glue you can easily remove it with some isopropyl alcohol and then I'll take off the frame of the glass here. So only thing left after I, you know that'll take 24 hours to bond all the way. So I'll probably We'll have this video out before that period. The only thing left is just to wire this up to the two leads. Have the glass on it. Well, this is going to be facing this way. I definitely want it behind the glass since there's, you know, 120 volts right here. I don't want to make any hazards. Now, I tested the continuity between the live and neutral against this metal, and there's no contact, so if it was to happen to touch this, it shouldn't be a big problem. That's it. It's just going to be able to look right through there and magnify and unfortunately half of it's going to be covered up. But anyway, probably going to end the video here because now it's just a matter of letting some glue dry pretty much. And uh, so I'm going to glue that on, cut this rod here off and the plastic base. I got that mounted inside just in there. It's still bouncing around. But just as a test real quick to see how it's going to look. So, here we go. Still got, I'm going to be able to move it down some. 
So we're going to have about half of the area viewable. And uh, yeah. Might not look too pretty, but I think it's going to do the job. It's uh, I paid $3 for the assembly here from Goodwill. A dollar for the light and a dollar for the magnifying glass. So five dollars. Nice little setup here to magnify and light up whatever I'm soldering. So thanks for watching. Hope you join me again.